Hello, my name is Tanya Turk. I'm in the Science Internship Program for Nursing. I will be a junior at Notre Dame College for Nursing, and I have been studying at South Point Hospital in the anticoagulation clinic, working on my project, which is how long does it take for a male patient's INR to reach their goal range after coming to a nurse-based anticoagulation clinic. And my mentor is Tammy Chester. And the purpose for this project is to find out how long it takes for a new male patient to reach range, to see if there is a difference in age groups and different marital statuses, and if the appointments affect the male patients and how long it takes for them to reach their INR levels. To show the patients if they have missed their appointments, they will have a difficult time staying in range with their INR. Coumadin is an anticoagulation that is used to lower the chance of blood clots from forming patients needed to know. The patients need to know that the thickness of their blood is very important because it cannot be too thin or too thick, which puts them at range puts them into a problem of a clot forming or bleeding out. Coumadin blocks the formation of clot factors in the liver that are dependent on vitamin K. The thought for this project is how long does it take for a patient to become in target range after coming to a nurse-based anti-coag clinic? Are patients out of range because they are not compliant with missing appointments? Are patients single or married, married, more likely to be in range, and are males near or at retirement age more likely to be in range? To answer these questions, my practice database was utilized. The hypothesis for this project is that regarding male patients, it is speculated that patients near or at retirement age and married men are more conscientious of their Coumadin treatment. Therefore, these patients are more likely to be in range than patients that are not of non-retirement age, especially males of different marital statuses. This study looked at each new patient admitted into the anticoagulation clinic in the year 2010, then split between males and females. I looked at the male part. We used the EPIC system to review each appointment for six months after their first visit. And then it was divided into gender, age, and marital status. To determine the average number of days it took to reach the target range, the percentage of patients who never reached target range who discontinued the Coumadin at the Coumadin clinic, who were in range at the first visit, who were in range at the first visit and also in range one month later, and who took more than 14 days to reach the range and less than, 14 or less than. This is my abstract. In this group, um, graph, we see how many patients were in each category. We had a total number of 87 male patients and 46 were married. The average amount of days it took to reach their goal range was 19 days. There was not a trend or a significant difference between the married and non-married males and the age groups. This shows that only 1% never reached their target range and then it was split up into the different age groups. Overall, 25% of the patients discontinued, and 48% of the male patients were in range at their first visit. And a month later, about 67% of those patients were in range still. It took more than 14 days to reach the target range for 48% of the male patients. And then 14 days or less took 52% of the population that I looked at. There was 87 patients that were divided into, up into different age groups and then by marital status. Since 
there was no trend seen in the different categories. It took an average of 19 days for the overall to reach their range. 1% did not continue on. Only, that would be only one patient that discontinued their treatment at the Coumadin Clinic. 25% discontinued. I'm sorry, one patient did not reach the range. 25% discontinued. 48% were in range at the first visit. And then 52% 52 took 14 days or less to reach the range. And there was average miss of one, less of uh, one per appointment. For the 20 to 30 year olds, three patients were in this category. It took about an average of zero days to reach the range. Zero percent never reached the range. Um, 100 percent were in range on their first visit. There were nine patients in the category 31 to 40 years old. The average was 23 days, 0.75, and 11% never reached the range, and then 44% discontinued at the Coumadin Clinic. For 41 to 50, 14 patients were in this range and took an average of 14 days to reach the range. 7% never reached the range, and 20 nine percent discontinued. For the 51 to 60 year old, 22, per, I mean 12 patients were in this category. Three percent, I mean eight percent never reached range. 16 days it took the patients on average to reach their target range. For 61 to 70, 15 patients were in this category. There were an average of 22 days to reach the range, 0% never reached the range, and then 27% discontinued. 21 patients were in the 71 to 80 year old range. There was an average of 17 days to reach the appointment, and then 5% never reached the range. For the 81 to 90, 13 patients in this category, about average of 25 days and 17, I mean 7, 8% never reached the range. The whole connection for this project was that we did not see a trend in the different gr groups that were added. Only 1% of males did not reach the range. And this is not included in the discontinued patients. 48% were in the range of their first visit and 68 of those patients were in range a month later. For 52% of the males, it took a less than 14 days to reach the INR target range. Therefore, this project showed there was no age group better than the other and that there is not a difference between married and non-married males to reach the range of fastest. It showed that the average missed appointments was less than one day. So it meant that there have to be other reasons for the INR to be out of range. So another project is necessary to find out why the events are causing the INR to be out of range. There are many reasons why a patient's INR would be out of range. I would like to thank my mentor, Tammy, Fallon, my other co-worker, Linda Pasek and Carol Weber, who are our point persons at South Point Hospital, the anticoagulation nurses, the South Point Hospital employees and the Office of Civic Education, especially Ms. Darling and Ms. Rosalind Strickland. Thank you.